welcome back to our vector tutorial. In uh, this chapter, I'm going to talk to you about what a vector really is. And um, I didn't explain this in the last one, so we, today we're just going to go with that and explain what a vector is and not more, much more than that. So if you don't have this uh, coordinate system built, uh, you should go back and build it it's uh, in the first part of this tutorial uh, and you can find the video on the channel but um yeah let's get started and to begin with we're just gonna draw a single vector uh, and 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 see what it is use that for explanation so just gonna make a new blueprint base it on actor as usual call it vector demo and open it i'm gonna go straight to the graph and on begin play just like last time i'm gonna draw debug line this is something we did last time so again if you haven't done it please go back and watch that tutorial this is a bit like it but there's gonna be some explanation on vectors so we have a debug line so let's see, I want it to begin just like before, get actor location, that's where I want it to begin. But now we actually want to, yeah, have, we're going to make a vector, make a variable, just call it vector one. And if you compile it, you can, oh. We need to change this to a vector as well. So compile. Control. Just drag it in and you get it. Now, what is a vector? A vector, as you can see here, it can have, it has three values, X, Y, and Z. I'm just going to call it Z for all you Americans. <coughs> but uh, the vector is basically, it's, 3D space, so you have how far you want it to move in the X, Y, and C axis. So let's just say that the default value for this one is going to be two, 200. That's our vector. So now we have the location. And if you remember this, this is actually a vector. I'm just going to break it. You don't have to do this. But as you can see, a vector, this vector consists of x, y, and c, just like this one does. So how can we add these uh, numbers? Well, it's actually quite e easy. You just drag this one plus, and you can see here, vector plus vector. And it takes two vectors. And what this does is it actually ta takes... the x and add to the x, y to the y, c to the c. So instead of doing that manually, you just use this node. Just drag out from the vector and hit the plus sign and then you get vector plus vector. So now what we have is the, the actor location plus our own vector, which is just 200 along the x axis. So we're gonna drag this in here to where the line ends. And we do this because we want it to draw from where we drag this actor in. So we're just going to change the, the line color to something spiffy and make sure the alpha, and this is the alpha I found out. Um, and make sure it's drawn for a long time. Thickness 10. So now we have this. Drag it into the world and see where it, what it looks like. And as you can see here, it's just a vector. Uh, it's just a, a line. Okay. Um, we go back to the vector demo. Now we're going to play with vectors a little bit. We want vector 2. And we want vector 3. Okay. Compile this. Then we can give it some default values. So we're going to put 200 in the y-axis 
of vector 2 and then in vector 3 we're going to put 200 in, in C. So, okay. Let's just quickly draw these lines and we have the X here. We're just going to copy it. Whoops. Copy all this. Do it once. And do it twice. Okay. But this looks so ugly. Yeah, I don't care. And besides, so are you. And I hope you followed this. This is basically just a copy of w what we did last time. But now you see we have vector 1, vector 2, and vector 3. And they should all just draw pink lines. Just like in our last episode. But okay. Not quite what I wanted, but let's move on. So now you can see we have... We don't want to draw this line from uh, vector 2. We, we don't want to draw this vector 2 from where we place the axis. We actually want to draw it from where this one ends. So we want to draw it from where vector 1 ends. And that goes here. And then we want it to draw it from where it ends to a location that's a bit higher up which is nice. And this one, we don't want to draw it from where it, want, where it ends, uh, where the actor is. We want to draw vector 3 from where vector 2 is. So, we begin there. You can see line end goes into line start. So, And we just want to draw it at vector 3. And vector 3 is, as you can see, well, uh, it's going to be clear in just a second. Actually, let's change this to red. Green. And blue. Hopefully it lines up with our coordinate system. It actually does. As you can see here, we have the red one going perpendicular to the red one. We have the green one and the blue one. So this is actually, you can see, three different vectors and we have a nice shape here. And now we want to do the last thing so you can maybe understand better what um, vectors are made of. And it's X, Y, and Z. So we're just gonna do it one last time. Draw a default line. That's what we want to do. But this time, we actually want to start it at the actor location. That's where we want to draw it. And now we have vector 1, 2, and 3. And a quick tip. You saw this add pin here. Um, well, actually, no, there's too many. So just plus, vector plus float. Okay, so we add vector 1 and 2, but we want one more vector. So we just press the add pin and we get another pin. So we can put this in here. And actually, we want one, one more pin. And we're just going to take the actor location. And put it up here. Okay, let's have a look. I'm just going to go back and change the color real quick to something pink. I like pink. Okay, there we go. So now we have this thing. And this is to explain what the vector is made of. And it is made up of three numbers. And these numbers, yeah, they they are x, y, and c. So as you can see, there's 200 on the x-axis, 200 on the y-axis, and 200 on the z-axis, c-axis, sorry. And when you add these, 
you get a total vector and it goes from where we started and up to here um, I'm not that good at explaining but I hope this is this example uh, makes it easier for you so um, but before we end this I'm just gonna do one more thing um, Actually, you can see we have this vector and you know we could actually plus something but let's see what happens if we try to multiply it we can actually multiply it by a float so let's say we want this one to be two times as long as what we have built here let's see what happens put it up in the end line All of a sudden, it's a whole different beast. So now instead of going 200, 200, 200, it's going, why is it not going 300? Uh, hang on. Oh. It's actually adding this location. I shouldn't do that. We have these three vectors, and we just want to multiply those. We don't want to multiply our axis location, so we're just gonna do this after the fact. Let's see if that doesn't fix it. It does. Now it does what I wanted it to do. As you can see now, it ha actually has the same direction as it had before it's just twice as long so that's actually quite useful we're going to use that in another video later on so until next time see ya